Hi, everyone. My name is Valerie Stern. I'm a physician assistant specializing in dermatology. I work in Los Angeles, California in an integrative dermatology uh, private practice. And I'm also one of the program directors here at LearnSkin with the DCIE or our Dermatology Clinical and Integrative Essentials Program. So I'm really excited to be with you today and to go over a little bit about integrative dermatology as well as the program. So let's get started. Integrative medicine, what does it mean? According to the NIH or the National Institute of Health, integrated medicine or integrative medicine as it's referred to in the United States is a practicing of medicine in a way that selectively incorporates elements of complementary and alternative medicine into comprehensive treatment plans alongside solidly orthodox methods of diagnosis and treatment. So what does this mean? When we look at integrative medicine, we can focus on a few different aspects. If we start in the upper left corner in the blue box, we see that integrative medicine involves focusing on the person in their, on, in their complexity, the more holistic approach in taking the entire person as one. Next, we move on to the purple box and we look at the strengthening, strengthening the position of the patients, emphasizing responsibility for their own health. So they're taking a key and an active role in their uh, health care as well. We move on to the green box and we see that there's also an emphasis on prevention. Our goal is to prevent. We want health literacy and a healthy lifestyle. We move down to the orange box and an emphasis is placed on self-healing. And this includes stimulating innate self-healing abilities of the organism or the entire person. Our aqua box is where we want to build a doctor-patient or provider-patient relationship with each and every patient we encounter. And then finally, when we look at our red box, we see that we have an emphasis on a well-thought-out combination of appropriate healing practices and teamwork to find op optimal treatment. So I think that's probably, that sums it up quite well, that it's a combination of appropriate healing practices that we bring together in an optimal team fashion to treat each and every one of our patients in a personalized way. So integrative medicine today in 2023, just a few little bits of information that might be of interest. Over 30% of adults and 12% of children seek non-conventional healthcare. They cite reasons such as safety and therapeutic options, trust in patient-provider relationships, and failure to respond using traditional medicine, all as reasons for seeking alternative care. And these numbers are continuing to grow each year. Healthcare seekers are looking for a more holistic, personalized care, encompassing their entire mind and body, which includes mental, emotional, functional, spiritual, social and community aspects of their care. Integrative healthcare includes things such as nutrition, emotional well-being, which can include things such as stress, lifestyle practices, supplements and botanicals, along with traditional Western medical practices, which takes on that whole body approach with each condition it treats. Integrative healthcare includes the functional medicine component of root cause medicine, this is where we're seeking and treating out etiology or why, as opposed to simply addressing a symptomology or placing a Band-Aid on something we see without really knowing why it's occurring. So when we look at integrative medicine and we apply that to dermatology, how does that work? Well, looking at integrative dermatology, same as integrative medicine, we're gonna take integrative dermatology and take on a conventional as well as a complementary medical approach. So when we look at our more conventional approaches, which is what we're, we're taught and what most of us have um, come to learn over the years and have been practicing is the allopathic mainstream Western or orthodox medicine taught in medical uh, schools. It's an evidence-based knowledge that primarily uses pharmacy, procedural and surgical interventions as treatment. And then we add to that our more complementary approach as we've been uh, discussing, and that brings on the group of therapeutic and diagnostic disciplines found outside of the traditional healthcare practice. 
Again, this includes our therapeutic and diagnostic, diagnostic disciplines, as well as acupuncture, chiropractic, naturopathy, nutrition, environmental, relaxation, Ayurveda, meditation, herbal medicine, and homeopathy, to name a few. So dermatology for the non-dermatologist. The U.S. is currently facing a shortage of specialty trained dermatologists. This is uh, becoming more and more a problem as the years progress. And um, right now, I believe over the next 5, 10, 15 years, this shortage is supposed to be coming even greater. Um, there's many reasons for this. One of the reasons is that the U.S. healthcare insurance plays a role in determining patient care visits in primary care versus specialty care in dermatology. Um, primary care being basically our gatekeeper in most of our HMO type practices and whatnot. So they are going to be the first one in line to see these patients, and it's going to be up to them to determine whether or not a patient is allowed to move on to a dermatologist or a dermatology specialist. So um, one statistic that I find quite interesting is the fact that skin disease is the third most common complaint encountered in primary care. So, you know, a lack of formal dermatology education for our non-dermatologists plays a significant role in properly diagnosing and treating skin disorders. And I mean, that's to be expected. They're busy in their education, their residencies and their clinics treating many other conditions. So they don't get the ultimate focus on dermatology as somebody specializing in dermatology would. And of course, given the fact that um, skin disease is the third most common complaint that they see, it's in everybody's best interest to know a little bit more about it. So non-dermatology specialties are going to include things such as family medicine, general medicine, internal medicine. I would also throw pediatrics, GYN, and many other specialties in this area. Um, it's, it's something that we see every day because everybody has skin. So we also include our naturopathic medicine fellows, our acupuncture fellow colleagues, our chiro chiropractors, our advanced practice providers such as myself and many of you out there, our nurse practitioners, our PAs and our RNs, as well as nutritionists and all other dermatologist healthcare providers that assess skin. So why add a dermatology, or I'm sorry, why add an integrative component to your practice? Well, patients want and seek more natural forms of therapy in many skin conditions. This is due to cost, concern over toxicity, side effects, and in many cases, patient beliefs. Patients will also come in and ask about alternative therapies when they're at office appointments. So I know in my own case, whether or not it's something that I would offer them, they may ask me about something like coconut oil, or they're applying acetic white vinegar to their skin or, or whatnot. So it's in my best interest as well as others to know and understand why these patients are speaking about these things or, or where they uh, have obtained their information in their approach to using these um, alternative therapies so that we can speak intelligently on the subject matter, whether or not it's something that we might offer. Conventional medicine does not usually take a holistic or a root cause approach in addressing illness. Um, a good example would be something like urticaria or hives. Um, other rashes may present and uh, be treated acutely for symptoms as well. But the underlying etiology is extremely critical in curing or at least reducing the skin disorder burden. Um, you know, a topical steroid cream or an oral antihistamine may help. But if the environment creating the skin disorder is left unaddressed, the patient's going to continue to manifest symptoms over and over until the environmental component is treated. And unfortunately, I'm guilty of this, I have to say. And I think about the years of maybe almost injustice, I feel where I continued to bring them back, their rash was gone. I thought, yay, we cured them, you know, home run, only for a month or two later to have them come back. And for me, maybe to apply a stronger therapy, or we do the therapy for a longer amount of time, 
or we move on to a biopsy or whatnot, because maybe I wasn't looking at the whole person. And that to me was when kind of the light went off and it's like, you know what, I need to start taking a more holistic look at this and determine things such as home environment, work situation, outside activities, and all of these things that might add to a person's underlying condition. So in my own personal practice experience, again, as I mentioned in the beginning, I work in private practice. I work in a holistic integrative dermatology clinic, which I absolutely love. Um, I have such um, autonomy there and I enjoy so very much working from both a allopathic as well as an integrative approach. And my patient population complains of things, you know, the average things like rosacea, acne, skin rashes, psoriasis, skin laxity, hair loss, and every other condition we see basically on a daily basis. Um, conventional therapies never really resolved or improved a lot of these symptoms for more than a month or two in, in most of my patients, which led to a lot of frustrated patients. My patients were seeking alternative care because they just weren't feeling they were satisfied with the results they were getting. Also, by the time they would see me, they'd been to maybe two, three, four, five or more private providers prior. So our goal in my practice is to optimize patient health by taking every factor into account, not just simply addressing a symptom. And we do so by incorporating a more holistic, shared decision-making, patient-centric approach to therapy. So now let's move on to the DCIE program, our Dermatology Clinical and Integrative Essentials. The program provides comprehensive training on dermatological conditions that seamlessly combines conventional and complementary medical models into an integrative approach. The program cur curriculum uh, equips practitioners with advanced knowledge that considers the entire patient, from mind, body, and root cause perspectives, while increasing fundamental skill and performance, which is gonna result in better patient care outcomes. And this program is amazing. It's, it consists of 10 modules, 58 lessons, and best, you're getting 25 category one, or um, I guess it's gonna depend on what, what your licensure is, but 25 or greater units are associated with the program. So the program, is designed to provide the non-dermatologist with comprehensive training in dermatological conditions that combine, again, the, con the conventional and complementary medical models into an integrative approach. And this curriculum is for non-dermatologist providers with advanced knowledge that incorporates the entire patient, mind, body, our root cause in treating skin conditions. The DCI program bridges the gap in dermatology education for non-core dermatologists by increasing fundamental skill and performance resulting in positive healthcare outcomes. So let's look at the modules. Fundamentals of dermatology is where we're gonna start off. Next, we're gonna move into atopic dermatitis and uh, talk about things such as perigo nodularis. Third, papulosquamous eruption four, adnexal disorders, including acne, rosacea, hydratinitis separativa, five, pigment, pigmentary disorders, six, hair and nails, seven, inflammatory dermatoses. This is going to include things like our bullous diseases, vasculitis, urticaria, erythema, and drug eruptions, eight, complex medical and systemic manifestations, nine, dermatology, pharmacology, and 10, aesthetics and putting it all together. So when we look at these 10 modules and 58 lessons, there's a great deal of information to be had. You're going to find that in this program, it's going to suit newcomers as well as those that have been practicing for many years, including myself. I've been in dermatology for quite a lot of years now. And honestly, I enjoyed every bit of the program and learned so much throughout. So it's something that I think everybody can um, learn from. And it adds just a new level of education and alternative therapy to your patient practice, which gives your patients a new way of looking at things as well, which they truly appreciate in this day and age. So Finally, what are our key takeaways today? 
Integrative dermatology in an evidence-based healthcare model that incorporates aspects of both traditional allopathic medicine along the lifestyle, environmental, mind-body, acupuncture, herbal supplements, Ayurveda, and nutritional aspects of patient health and well-being is what we're focused on. We've got a significant number of people today seeking out and using integrative healthcare every year due to factors such as trust, safety, efficacy. These are things that they feel might be lacking in traditional medicine. Not to mention, we've got a whole group of people out there and the internet, of course, we can't forget that, that are actually educating themselves and they wanna live in a more toxin-free environment. And they are much more savvy when it comes to looking things up and asking about alternative care. So we're seeing this more and more and it's just in our best interest to learn as much about it as we can. And then third, the most common complaint addressed in general medicine involves skin. Therefore, this requires our non-dermatologist um, colleagues in healthcare to have the appropriate training and knowledge necessary in treating these conditions. And the DCIE program is designed to provide an overview of the most common dermatologic conditions while providing a better understanding in diagnosing and treating such conditions, both allopathic and integrative uh, medical methods. So keep that in mind when you join this program or start studying this program, it's not strictly going to be from a complementary model or an integrative uh, complementary model. It's going to be integrative in that we do incorporate the allopathic. Um, it's, you know, we prescribe, we biopsy, we culture, we do all of the things we do in allopath, but at the same time, we look at alternative therapies where there's research-based um, uh, documentation showing that these um, modalities work. So having the best of both worlds is something that you're going to learn about throughout the DCI program. And I think you'll truly enjoy and bring a whole new level of care to your practice and to each of the patients you treat. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it.